The other day I did a video on how important it is to clean your handgun after every use. Now in that video, I didn't cover how to properly lubricate your handgun. And since then I've had several people in the comment section and through email ask me, well, how do you properly lubricate your gun after you clean it? Well, one place you can actually get the answers to how to properly lubricate your gun is the gun's owner's manual. The owner's manual isn't just a book we throw in a drawer and never look at. It's actually got some useful information in there, such as where specifically you should lubricate your firearm. Now, lubrication can be a little tricky. You don't want too little or else your gun's going to wear excessively. You're going to have damage to the materials. It may not function properly. So that's not a good thing. But you also don't want to excessively lubricate it or you'll have pretty much the same problems. It may not function properly because of the excess lube. You'll get stuff that sticks in the lube. That goop that's left over by the excess lube will trap foreign materials, which can damage the surfaces inside the firearm, causing pitting, rusting, etc. Under lubing is bad. Over lubing is bad. If I had to choose which one I think is worse, I think over lubricating your gun is actually worse than under lubricating it. Because if you're lubricating it at all, you'll probably be okay. But if you put too much lubricant on it, you can really run into some problems. So since there is that sweet spot in lubrication, I'm going to do a video today where I show you how to properly lube your gun, i.e. how the manual would tell you to do it. And I'm also going to show you how I actually lube my guns, which is nothing like the manual tells you because I use the lazy man method. So as you can see here, I have everything laid out I'm going to need. All you're going to need to properly lubricate your gun is the gun itself, disassembled, a nylon brush, a couple of Q-tips, an old cloth rag, an old discarded t-shirt what I always use, and some lube. This time I'm using some light lube by Wilson Combat because this here is really good in the cooler weather. So I'll be using that to lubricate the pistol today. Okay, now that we see everything we need here, let's go ahead and move everything out of the way and start with the slide. Okay, this slide has been thoroughly cleaned, so it's pretty dry. So what we're gonna do is take our nylon brush, just put a couple drops of oil on it, and then we're gonna brush down the interior of this slide. Just get in the channels here, get a little bit back here on the firing pin, get it on the breech face, just get it all through here, get it on the extractor, and then get it on the insides of the rails at the front. Just brush everything down lightly. Then once you've done that, take one of your Q-tips and just take off all the excess oil, get it in all the little nooks and crannies and get everything excess out of there. And then once you're done, set the slide to the side. Next, we're going to do the barrel. The best way to do the barrel, put a little bit of lube on an actual Q-tip. And then Put it all over the linkage down here. Just give it a nice light coat, a little brushed on coat. Do it to the front up here. Right in front of the barrel shroud. And then just give the barrel itself a light wipe down. Making sure to coat here and towards the front up here. But just lightly wipe it down to where you're not really leaving a lot of oil on the surface. You're just coating it. You're just getting it damp. And then set that aside. Now for the spring and guide rod, I'll just put a couple of drops, like three drops up and down it. Give it a really good shake. And then work the spring back and forth. Once I've done that, I'll just give it a wipe down and set it aside. Okay, now you're going to do your frame. This is where you actually want to put some drops of oil on. Put some drops of oil back here on the mechanism in the back. Put it on pretty much all the little metal surfaces, just a little bit. Put it along the bar right here, the trigger bar. Put a little bit on the trigger mechanism. And then put some in the slide rails. Just a couple of drops in each slide rail. Then take your rag and just dab. And at this point, the gun be ready to be put back together and then just take the same rag you've been using, put a little oil on the rag and wipe the entire gun down. And then you're done properly lubricating your firearm. That's the proper way to do it. But let me show you how I actually do it. I don't use the brush, the Q-tips or anything. I just get myself a can of rim oil right here, the spray type, and I go to town. First, I spray down the frame and then I set it aside. Then I spray down the slide, and I set it aside. Then I spray down the barrel, and I put it aside. And then I spray down the spring, and I put it aside. And here comes the super secret trick. 
This is why I take my air compressor and I just blow out all the excess oil on all the parts. And once I've blown everything off, I just put it back together. And now once I have it all back together, just spray the outside and do the same thing. And then I just give the whole thing a light wipe down with my cotton cloth. There you have it, all clean, lubricated, and ready to go back into the gun safe. Easy peasy. And if you're doing a revolver after you've cleaned it, it's even easier. You don't have to take anything apart. You just hold the revolver open. Spray it down. If these were wood grips, I'd probably take them off first, but oil usually won't damage grips. These are G10, so you got nothing to worry about. Once you get it sprayed down, everywhere you want to spray it down, cock back the hammer, spray down in the mechanism. You just do the same thing and blow it out again. And then, just like with the other gun, just give it a quick wipe down with a cloth, and it's properly cleaned, lubricated, and like I said, ready to go back into the safe. So there you have it. If you just follow those simple steps, the ones that they actually recommend, the proper way to do it, or the lazy man way that I do it, you'll have guns that are properly lubricated. They're not lubricated too little. They're not lubricated too much. They're lubricated just right. So that in the future, if you ever need your guns, they'll function properly.